Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. Born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I am going to introduce three new characters. And I hope it would be some satisfaction for you guys because one of the characters I have mentioned plenty of times already. So there should be a bit of an edge, if that makes any sense. Let's begin. Rot. Real name, Amy Dales. Height, 5 feet 11 inches, weighed 173 pounds. Status, hero in Living Zombie. Base, New York City Bubble. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Optimistic and cautious. She'll do all that it takes to help others. Lethality. Highly deadly, but usually when she gets hungry. Weaknesses. Salt, fire, and bad halitosis. Powers. She has the urge to eat organic matter. She has a special regeneration system that keeps her from rotting away, along with being more challenging in a fight. She also has an acute sense of smell, night vision, and some martial arts skills. She also possesses a ring of nourishment that keeps her from losing her trust in society. Eyes gray, formerly blue. Hair gray, formerly blonde. Origin. Amy Dales was a young woman who's also the daughter of the mayor of New York, Mayor Dales. However, on her wedding, Valkyrie made a terrorist attack by launching a missile onto Amy, causing her to get blown to bits. Luckily, Pam decided to help the mayor by stitching Amy back together and putting her body into a machine resembling a CAT scan, which produced enough electricity to bring her back to life. Pim then granted Amy, now nicknamed Rot, with her own ring of nourishment to keep her from losing control of her hunger. When she traveled back home, Amy visited her shocked fiancé, who wasn't expecting her. He soon told Rot, that he just can't handle being married to a zombie, and Amy accepted his honesty. Since then, not only would Rot spend her life as a hero, but she would also spend time looking for someone who enjoys being with her. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular. Team, solitary, or with other heroes on inspiration. Zombies. Here's the next character, which should be the one that I was talking about with the edge. Clay. Real name, none. Height, 9 feet 11.5 inches. Weight, 3 tons. Status, villain and henchman of Voodoo. Base, Voodoo's Tomb, Africa. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior, moody, destructive, and somewhat charming. He'll do anything to honor his master and keep her from getting angry. Lethality, highly deadly to most opponents and their dwellings. Weaknesses, women. He falls comatose without his life force. Powers. He has great strength, inhuman durability, and wields a massive single-edged axe. He also has the power to bring any inanimate objects to life. Eyes. Made of clay. Hair. None. Origin. One time, Voodoo decided that she needed a creature that would serve as her sidekick in her plans to annihilate the USA. Soon, Voodoo constructed a living clay golem, which she named Clay. However, when Clay betrayed her by falling in love with Clay Girl, he was stripped from his life force until Voodoo forgave him. Eventually, he was brought back to life and was told by Voodoo that if he betrays her again, he shall be destroyed. Despite that, Clay would normally spend quality time with Clay Girl, who is to this day considered to be the love of his life. Costume, he wears nothing, but respectively he doesn't need to wear anything. Teams, solitary or works for voodoo. Original inspiration, clay golems. Here's the last character, just so you know. X-Ray, real name, Raymond Brennan. Height, 6 feet 2 inches, weight 203 pounds. Status, hero, and U.S. President, base, Washington, D.C., Alpha Earth. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, cunning and willful. He'll do all that he can to honor his country. Lethality, only to those with a weak stomach. Weaknesses, fire and radiation. 
Bowers. He has invisible skin along with an uncanny leadership and an iron will. He also has some limited x-ray vision. Eyes silverish blue, hair none. Origin. Raymond Brennan was born with a condition that made his skin invisible, leaving his bones and organs completely exposed. Despite that, he was used to people of thinking him as gross. After high school, he applied to law school until he developed enough skills and determination to become the current president of the United States for the Alpha Earth. One time, Olga captured X-Ray and forced him to give her his job or she would eat him alive. Luckily, he was rescued by the Universal Misfits. After a while of severely fighting the notorious Legion of Alpha Villains, the heroes finally transported X-Ray back to the White House, saving his life. Since then, X-Ray would for the rest of his life cherish all heroes in existence due to his successful rescue. Costume. He only dresses in formal clothes. Teams. He works in the White House. Ordinal inspiration. DC's Mr. Bones. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce. And just so you know, I apologize in advance for those who are confused about the character Olga. I promise you that at some point in the future, I'll introduce more information about her to you guys. And stuff like that. Um, trying to think think of other things. I could have sworn that there are some other things I need to talk about. So I apologize if I forget to bring them up and such. Um, I just had my chrysalis meeting yesterday and there's a good chance that I might use Redbubble to make t-shirts and other pieces of merchandise online for the sake of social recognition and I'm still planning to make that FanX booth for next year. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to have enforced properly. And if you guys are impressed with um, my podcast so far, and if you feel that you are good at illustrating, I would like to see your guys' fan art, which you could DM, PM me on um, Facebook, because... Facebook and YouTube are the only two things I have as of right now. I hope I could get Twitter and maybe Instagram because, you know, it would give me a bigger chance of social recognition. I'm just trying to make things work, you know? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent Christmas and a decent New Year and all that stuff. And until next time in transmission.